Here's more wrestling news for November 26, 2022. And we're starting off with Brock Lesnar, who hasn't been seen since Crown Jewel, but WWE plans on bringing him back in time for WrestleMania next year. It has been reported that WWE is hopeful that Lesnar will face Gunther at their biggest event of 2023, but that match is far from confirmed. In an update, sources who spoke to Ringside News said that while Gunther is the preferred opponent, that the match has yet to be pitched to Lesnar. Those sources added that multiple stars are being considered, but refuse to say who they are, only stating that Gunther is the management's favorite. While Gunther is the favorite, it is impossible to say right now if the match will happen, as a lot could change between now and WrestleMania. As one of WWE's biggest ever stars, Lesnar will no doubt have a lot of sway over his WrestleMania booking, but for now, nothing has been confirmed for The Beast or Imperium. Over to SmackDown as this week's episode saw the continuation of the World Cup Tournament and saw a surprising upset in the semifinals. On the show, Braun Strowman faced Ricochet for a place in the finals, and despite the size difference, it was Ricochet who got the win. It should be mentioned that Gunther and Imperium interfered to cost Braun the match, but that didn't stop the crowd reacting well to the upset. What happened after the match was also impressive, as the post-match beatdown showed that Imperium feel threatened by Strowman, and Ricochet had a moral dilemma on the ramp. While it would have been easy for Ricochet to walk away, the former US champion had arguably his biggest spot of the past three years, coming to Braun's aid and making the save. We also can't overlook how the smaller Ricochet making the save comes not long after Braun in real life mocked indie wrestlers and flippy floppy stars, and WWE is seemingly involving Braun's real life comments into the storyline. Perhaps had Strowman not run his mouth on social media, he'd be the one advancing to the finals, but instead it'll be Ricochet after one of the best SmackDown storyline matches and segments of the year. Fans were taken by surprise by Braun losing on SmackDown, but some have a prediction as to why he came up short. On Twitter, fans speculated that his loss was WWE's way of sending a message to Strowman not to mock smaller wrestlers who have come up through the indies. These days, many of WWE's biggest stars, including Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens, came up through the indies and likely didn't take kindly to his insulting comments. When confronted by fans, Braun was quick to back down and said his comments were just a joke, but what do you think? Was Strowman's loss this week a message? Let us know in the comments. Braun and Ricochet were opponents on this week's SmackDown, but proved to be formidable allies after the show went off the air. Once the cameras stopped rolling, the two teamed up to face Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci and were able to get the win to send the crowd home happy. With back-to-back -back wins, Ricochet has momentum on his side and hopes to pick up another win in the finals of the SmackDown World Cup Tournament next week against Santos Escobar. The winner of the tournament will face Intercontinental Champion Gunther, who won the title in June from Ricochet, and the one and only is hungry to get the title back. At Crown Jewel, Logan Paul once again wowed fans with his in-ring ability and was able to hold his own against the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Unfortunately for Paul, he also suffered a knee injury in that match, leaving his WWE future in question, but it now looks like he won't be out for too long. In his latest vlog, Logan said that he has a significant tear in his MCL, saying it's going to take a minimum six weeks to fully heal. Paul also gave an example of one of his unique recovery methods, saying he's been soaking his knee in rice, which is apparently working for the YouTuber turned boxer turned pro wrestler. Six weeks is much better than the six months many had predicted Paul would have been out for, which would have resulted in him missing WrestleMania 39. Logan may have titled his video, I'll Never Fight Again, but this is clearly some clickbait, as not only will he fight again, but he'll be back in the ring sooner than first thought. In September, Soraya made her debut for AEW, but her first promo with the company did not exactly go to plan. Speaking about Tony Khan, Soraya said that it was good to finally have a boss who listens, a not-so-subtle shot at former WWE CEO Vince McMahon. Many saw the line as unnecessary, especially given how WWE had kept her employed for years after her neck injury in multiple roles. Speaking on AEW Unrestricted this week, Soraya discussed her first promo in AEW and admitted that it made her reconsider her future with the company. I will tell you though, the second week when I did the promo, which wasn't the best promo I ever did and I was really disappointed in it, I realized how crazy the internet community can be. I, even in my head at that point, was like, did I make a mistake coming back? 
Thankfully, Soraya stuck with AEW and has at long last been able to return to the ring, but it just goes to show you that you can never guarantee how fans will react to a wrestling promo. Back to WWE and last month, Ariana Grace suffered from a torn ACL during a match, which has kept the young NXT superstar on the shelf ever since. It was confirmed not long after her injury that Grace would need surgery, something she has since had, and now her legendary dad has given an update. For fans who may not know, Ariana's father is Santino Marella, and when speaking to Fightful, said that his daughter is far from fully healed. In fact, they aren't expecting her to be back in a ring until spring at the earliest, and the former U.S. champion added that this is a waiting game. Santino was also asked about his daughter not using the Morella name, but said he's fine with it, as she wants to forge her own legacy without always being compared to him. Ariana Grace is still new in WWE, but has already faced a major setback, and we, alongside her father, are wishing the second-generation superstar a speedy recovery. In the early 2010s, WWE would have celebrities serve as the guest hosts of Monday Night Raw, often to the annoyance of fans in the arena and at home. For the November 21st, 2011 episode of Raw, actor-comedian Jonah Hill was promoted as the guest host, but did not appear on the show. Speaking on the latest episode of Foley Is Pod, Mick claimed that the talent loathed working with Hill, who did not want to be at the show. There was a reason why Jonah Hill was advertised as the guest GM and it never aired. The guys hated working with him. There were some like Hugh Jackman, Dynamite, The Muppets, they loved it. Almost everyone was a good experience. Jonah Hill was one that didn't even make air because he apparently just didn't want to be there and it showed. I think somebody saw him mouthing to his agent, get me out of here. After over a year of D-list celebrities and names most fans didn't know, WWE did away with their guest hosts in favor of the also loathed anonymous Raw GM, and Jonah Hill was able to escape having to appear on the show. And we're ending today with AEW Rampage as this week's show went off the air with a stunning heel turn. In the closing moments of the show, Preston Vance turned on the Dark Order and aligned himself with La Faccion Ingobernable and sent Evil Uno and Alex Reynolds through a table for good measure. Rampage went off the air with Vance unmasking and throwing his mask at Brody Lee Jr., but the crowd in attendance got something extra special. After the show went off the air, Negative One came to the aid of Alex Reynolds and helped him walk to the back. On Twitter, Vance had a tense exchange with Amanda Huber, the widow of Brody Lee, and the former 10 made it clear that he knows what he's done, and for once, he's doing things his way. This was certainly a shocking way for Rampage to end, and it appears that the Dark Order are done, but we'll just have to keep tuned in to AEW to know what comes next. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.